Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. On a much cooler day. Horrible yesterday. Don't like that bloody weather. You know, um, yeah, just not nice weather to work in or to actually do anything in, you know. That's better, I can see myself in the middle now. I'm going to be reviewing Hop Foundry, brewed for Aldi, well, on sale at Aldi. Um, the small batch orange infused pale ale. So, oh, pulled my shoulder, I've done something. So it's 4.2%. The writing is absolutely a dinkum. So, crafted in small batches using New World hops, orange peel, and coriander. So, Let's give it a tester. Beautiful aroma. Absolutely beautiful aroma. Oh, that was nice. So I'm having to share the beer room tonight with my son playing games. Most illuminating. So yeah, orange in colour, good carbonation and lacing, a uh, white head on there. And it's funny because in the can it smelled of a beautiful orange aroma. In the bottle, in the glass rather, not so, not so good in the glass. How weird's that? You know, you think it'd be the same, wouldn't you? But obviously it built up in the in the can. I actually can still smell it in the can, even though I've emptied it. Oh, definitely taste the orange in the taste. On the, on the reviews, uh, people are saying that the taste seemed a little bit re restrained. Um, Little tangerine orange peel on the nose, then malty and dry bitter with a touch of marmalade. It's alright. Another one. Uh, clear golden with loose, fairly short lived white head. Aroma of citrus with some earthy ints. Medium body, good carbonation. There's a citrus start with orange. So, turn that off. Yeah, very good. It's like a lager, you know, the amount of carbonation there. The, the ad's still surviving, so that's good. Yeah, the orange is starting to come through again now. It's, it's really weird because when the head, when there was a good head like that, you couldn't actually smell the aroma. Not bad at all. Um, on a warm day, I mean today it's still warm today, it's like 25 degrees, but it... Yesterday, I mean, 38 degrees yesterday, I mean, that was ridiculous. You know, uh, I think it got to 37 here, but 38 for a lot of the country. And uh, we don't ever want to see them temperatures, you know, just uh, too much. So, Aldi and their craft beer range, uh, you know, as long as they refresh it every now and again, and bring some new bits and bobs to it, it's very good. Um, Obviously, they're never going to be as big a, a range as the likes of any of the big four supermarkets, but it's good to see quite a few beers in there. They've certainly improved over, from say, three or four years ago, you know. Well, also, it feels a bit thin on the mouthfeel. Um, I mean, it's nice, the, the, the orange is there, but uh, it's, it's, it's certainly not intense, you know. Uh, I've got an orange wine that I brewed, and uh, I have not drank a single bottle of it yet. And uh, I might have to crack that this open this weekend and do a home, I don't know, home brew review in ages, but I might have to, because this has just inspired me, you know. So yeah, on a day like today, where you want something um, refreshing, and actually, the thin mouth feel is probably a good thing because it's, you know, from a fridge, this would be fantastic. 
and what I've done with my shoulder, they jarred it this week once and I'm starting a new job in a week and a half so I, I need it to be 100%. Can't be going in aching, you know, they're not good. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a nice bit. Um, what was the Marston's one? Was it 61 deep? Now a little are uh, there uh, orange pale ale and that was a six percenter. I'm sure it was brewed or brewed by the same people. Um, that to me was really good. And then Marston's had theirs and I can't remember the name of it. Um, and again that was you know it was nice, very similar in strength. This is the weaker of the three of these orange infused ales. It's strange that there's three come out you know pretty quickly. Uh, I've had this for quite a while, this can. But yeah, you know, it's it's crisp, refreshing. Certainly probably would cater more to ladies than, than, than men, if I'm being honest. And not bad here. Um, so, ah, orange in colour. Good carbonation and lacing. White head, the aroma on the opening the can was quite intense, quite a nice strong aroma. M muted as soon as that head was on. It, the, you couldn't get the aroma could not get through the head. Uh, once the head disappeared, the aroma came back, but although not as strong as it was in the can. The taste, nice orange malty taste, not strong malt, you know, very light malty taste, and uh, overall uh, a nice refreshing beer. So out of five, hmm. give it a pretty decent for this type of beer, a 4.2 out of five. Yeah, quite nice, quite a nice refreshing start to the weekend and uh, plenty more beer reviews coming. Uh, thanks for watching, see you soon.